Hello, everybody. This is Linda. Ooh, y'all see this, huh? Yes, the human moisturizers. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, guys, I hope you're having a beautiful. Uh, today is Friday, and uh, Ben is looking at me like I'm crazy, right? But that's all right, Ben. That's all right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but listen guys um so i'm here under the uh moringa tree that's where i am we got a little breeze going on and you know it, it's yeah it don't make it no better really really but listen guys and today i'm gonna give you all some updates on some vegetables and it's you know just what i'm doing over here but most importantly i would love for you to stick around to the end of the video because I'm doing something I never did before because I want to get the full impact of what I can get from my plants. So I'm going to take some pods, leaves, and flowers from my moringa tree and I'm going to make a stir fry with it. And we're going to see how it tastes. I have it over, I had it over some uh, jasmine rice and we're going to see. So the thing about it is I like to think of is that um, if you sit around and eat bad food, you're going to get the results that you should get. But if you start to eat the food that is good for your body and that loves you as much as you love it... Those are some of the results you will get. So... Stick around and let's see how this moringa pod leaves and flower taste. Yeah. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my zone nine garden. Yay. 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 Let's get on with the video. So this is the first thing I saw this morning when I came out to my garden, y'all. Ah, let's see if I could get her. Here she is. She's gorgeous. Yeah, that is the butterfly pea flower. Hey, good morning. Good morning, baby. Yeah. All right, everybody. I know I have some peppers over here, so I'm gonna get them. Um, this is uh, one of my son's peppers. And I'm thinking it's a orange or yellow habanero. I think that's what that is, yeah. So I'm gonna take that one for him. But I think I have some reds in here that I wanna get. And here's my okra. She's doing a welcome in this morning. And um, this okra, where is it? Oh, there it is right there. I'm not gonna harvest it yet. Maybe at the end of the day, it'll be ready. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all, but these peppers here, I'm going to get these peppers. They could be more redder, but, you know, I'm going to get them. Yeah, I'm going to get these here. And this one. Yeah. I'm going to bring these two in. Uh, today, though, I have, I think that's 10 cups over there. Let's see, let's see. So over here, this I have 11 cups over there ready for seeds. And here, I have 10 cups ready for seeds, yo. Because, baby, listen, if you don't drop the seed... <laughs> Nothing will happen. Not one thing. Mm -hmm. 
This is a candy roaster squash. I dropped with you all. This is one of them. And here, that is the other one. She is rising. She's rising. Hey, y'all, let's check this Tigger. So when the Tigger is ready, she will detach herself. And she will be easy to pull apart. But evidently, she, she is beautiful now. She, she getting there. But I think maybe this evening she'll be ready because she's not ready. Not yet. She's pretty, though. Look at that, y'all. So if you're growing a tigger, look at that thing, baby. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And here is the other one. Yeah, she's all green. She ain't she ain't down. She ain't down. There was a water. Oh, there it is. Another watermelon right there. Oh, it's a tigger. I don't know. <laughs> but Let's check this one. Her stem is still green. It's all get up. Look at that. Mm -mm. Nope. But the Tigger is looking pretty over there, y'all. While I'm sitting here and I'm playing with these Zenas, and here is another one. They're big and beautiful, really tall. And I have another one that is she's saying goodbye but of course she's making her seeds so if we could get this thing to focus for us uh, I just watered it but yeah family y'all see that I can barely see it because of the sun but there goes the seeds right on the tip now these zenas that I have here these zenas here yeah these are from G-Quad. G-Quad sent me these seeds and here are the flowers. Thank you so much, G-Quad. I appreciate them. They are big and beautiful, tall and healthy. <laughs> and listen, honey, they love super juice. Oh, they love it now. <laughs> I haven't heard anybody complain yet. <laughs> this is the way they are looking. This morning, yeah. All right, y'all. My five minutes is up. I'll come back out and give y'all another five minutes. But <laughs> it is hot. I'm going in. Yeah. It is about uh, a little after seven on a Thursday evening. And I'm out in my garden. It's so... It's nice now. It feels really good out here, y'all. Real good. So I have been looking at some videos on how I can enjoy the Moringa pods. Oh, look at this. this is a big one right here, y'all. Let me bring it up so you can see it. It's a real big one. So I've learned that you can eat the pods. So I'm going to harvest two smaller pods. From what I understand, you don't want them to be too big because they'll be stringy and uh, you don't want them when they are stringy. So I'm going to take this one. Since I do have a lot of pods growing, y'all. Look, look at that big one right there in the middle. Wait, wait. Oh, there she is right there. It's a really big one. So I got a lot of big ones. So I'm going to take two. This is one. And... Um, I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to take this one. So, all right. Thank you, baby. Oh, there's a big one right there, too. And there. Oh, there's a real big one right there. So, they're all over the place, right? So, we're going to take these two in. And we're going to cook them. But, I'm also going to take some leaves. Bang. Come on, y'all. Let's go in the kitchen and cook these Moringa pods. All right, family. So now I have my cast iron skillet ready with all of my vegetables that I have chopped to put into this meal. So this is the stems from my Moringa, from my Moringa tree. <laughs> Looks like a hornworm was on it, right? But I just pulled the leaves off just like that. 
and that's how I'm going to prepare it. But, um, so I have some onion, garlic, peppers, um, and a half a tomato that I took out of my freezer, and I'm putting that in it. And that's my two moringa pods that I harvest off the tree. Yeah, so now I'm just going to saute them, and I also have a little oil in the pan, right? Um, I also went out there and <laughs> harvested a lemon. That was a half a lemon I used to juice from that. And here is the moringa leaves. Yeah, this meal was very easy. It's like a really cool stir fry. That's that's all it was. But um, I I wanted to try something new and different with my moringa tree. Here it is. So this is moringa pods, moringa leaves, and lots of vegetables and tomato, a half a tomato, and um, jasmine rice is under there. And this is the flowers of the moringa tree. There's more there, but mm -hmm. So I wanna sprinkle some on um, some food that I'm gonna eat. Yeah, why not, why not? So this jasmine rice in there along with. So now from what I understand, you want to eat the inside of the uh, pod. We'll see how it goes. But here we go, family. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So what I understand is that if you eat the pies when they're really big, the skin will be chewy. But if you harvest them when they're young, like these are, they're not chewy at all. As a matter of fact, it have um asparagus feel to it. And the leaves, of course, is delicious. I forgot my flour. <laughs> but let me get it, y'all. Let me get it. Let me get it good. There we go. Well, I know the flowers is not bad. I've eaten those before, but this is really good. Now, I have about between 25 and 30 um, Moringa pods on my tree right now. And this is why, you know, this was safe to do, but it's delicious. I'm gonna enjoy my meatless Thursday. Yeah. Now I've seen some people cook this with meat, and I think it was India a recipe. I don't know, but I'm not gonna put any meat with this. I know shrimp may be real good with this, <laughs> but it's really good, and I'm gonna enjoy it, y'all. I'm gonna enjoy. It. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great, great evening. So this is a wonderful meal of eating superfood. Moringa pods and moringa leaves. Really good, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Really good. Later.